Hello and welcome to episode three of Emma Learns Wine. Today we are talking about Hungarian wine from Hungary. So I visited Budapest with one of my best friends last year before the lockdown started and I bought um, I bought a couple of bottles of wine home. Hadn't tried it while I was out there. We just stuck to beer and spirits. Bought it home, loved it. I've been searching for that type of wine throughout the different supermarkets in the UK. So this is a variety of the wine. So it's a ferment. That's the what the grape is called. And today I decided to try that against another Hungarian wine that I found. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. So these are both white wines, so hopefully we should be able to have a very good comparison of them both. Um, so let's get them open. So I'm really happy because there's no corks, so you don't have to watch me struggle with corks with this episode because they're both screw tops. So let's try with the ferment. So this is the Sikaji ferment type of wines are what is hung Hungary is famous for. So, this is the one, oh, it's so nice, I do really enjoy this one. I did try um, a more traditional one that I got from a UK supermarket. So it was a Royal Takaji Late Harvest one. It comes in a teeny tiny bottle, like a 50cl bottle. Um, but it was really, really sweet, like so sweet, like I love sweet things, but it was so sweet that I could only have a glass or two when I was drinking it. So this is the ferment one, and I think maybe we should pour the other one out so we could compare them side by side. So this is a Sauvignon Blanc, which is, everybody knows Sauvignon Blanc, so when I was reading up about this, I'm not sure how to open it, I think I just do I do that? Nope, I don't do that. I don't know how to open this one. Maybe I'm not being strong enough. I'm not being strong enough. There we go. Um, so, so this is like um, a bit like one of the New World Sauvignon Blancs that we're thinking. Um, sorry, it's not like the New World Sauvignon Blancs, like New Zealand. So the New Zealand Sauvignon, is that about the same? They are not the same, but we're going to go with it. So this is not like the New World Sauvignon Blanc, so it's not a tropical fruit one, it's more of a traditional version of it. So you can see that I've poured those really badly. Let's look at them both together. Now, so um, comparing these two wines by looking at them, they are of near identical colour. They are both as clear as each other. Let's see if they smell the same or different. So we'll start with the ferment one. So I think I'm getting like floral notes from that one. It tastes very sweet. Yeah, the, the Sauvignon Blanc is definitely more fruity. Yeah, this one, I think it's, you can smell pears. You know, like juicy pears and that are just at the right perfection of ripeness. That's what that one smells like. And then this one, oh, it's, it, in the notes that I read, it says it, it's not tropical, but it smells tropical. It smells really nice. So let's taste them. Um, we'll start with the ferment one um, because I've had this one before. Mm, yeah, it's got a subtle sweetness like honey. Mm. Kind of, and the pear comes through as well, like a pear drop. Like I think I remember like their sort of hard sweets we used to have as children. 
and then oh I didn't bring anything to clean my palette hold on I'll just go grab something here we are sorry about that got some crack on to have a nibble on why me talking about it so when I came back from Hungary and research this one I did find it very difficult um, to find in the UK in most in most of the normal supermarkets so this one like the wine from the last episode is from a budget chain and this is the second time I've managed to get it from there even though this one's slightly different um, they're very reasonable price so these are both under £10 so when it does come around in the supermarket I always grab a couple of bottles to put in the wine rack but to be honest they don't usually stay there very long right so now we're going to try this Sauvignon Blanc so this is from a uh, vineyard it, that is called Harazithi um, it, I know that this vineyard is just outside Budapest, just to the west of it, I believe. So quite near to where I travel to. So um, this is 100% Sauvignon Blanc. Actually, both of these wines are 100% the one grape. Oh, it smells so lovely. Oh. It's so nice. It's so hard to put in. <laughs> I just love Sauvignon Blanc so much. It's not too dry, not too sweet. Maybe this one is a little bit sweet, but not overpoweringly so. It's just so juicy inside the mouth. And honestly, I could probably drink this whole bottle. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, even though that they do look the same, the tastes are much different. I think that hmm, both of them are really, really nice. And I know that it's very difficult to buy, find Hungarian wine in the UK, so Hopefully, the more people that go out and buy it, the more it will become popular and the more it will become available here. Um, because we see so many wines from France, from the New World, Australia and New Zealand, that sort of area. Spanish wines, very popular and easy to get to as well. So I think if you ever go out um, and you see some Hungarian wine, if you're at a restaurant or... If you're at the supermarket, I would say definitely give it a go. But the question is, which one is my favourite? And this is going to be a really hard decision because I really love both. This is basically two of my favourite wines sitting in front of me. I'll tell you what, I can't choose which is my favourite. I think I'm just going to have both. But... I will um, obviously link both these down below and hopefully you can try them and make a decision for yourself if you have tried these wines or you know tell me down below which one you think is your favourite. So yeah that's about it this episode. So just make sure that you um, press subscribe so you can um, get notifications for any other future episodes. Uh, like my Instagram page and I guess um, hopefully we'll see you at the next time. Cheers.